Hello everyone, I'm Mrs. Osadnik, first grade teacher at Blackstone School, and I am here today to read you another pigeon book. This one's called The Pigeon Needs a Bath. And he's going, I do not. Hi, I don't know if you've noticed, but the pigeon is filthy. So I could use your help because the pigeon needs a bath. That is a matter of opinion. What a kidder. I don't really need a bath. I took one last month. I think it was last month. Clean, dirty. They're just words, right? I feel clean. Maybe you need a bath. Yeah, when was the last time you had a bath? Oh, that was pretty recently. Life is so short. Why waste it on unimportant things? Like taking a bath. What smell? I don't smell anything. <laughs> and if I do, it's a very normal smell for a pigeon. You know, in some places, it's impolite to bathe. All of these flies buzzing around. Me are purely coincidental. Pew! Yuck! Let's get out of here. Take a bath, dude. Okay, fine. If it means so much to you, I'll take a bath. Whoa, I'm not going to like this one bit. These are little pictures, guys. Here we go. The water's too hot, too cold, too deep, not deep enough. Too lukewarm, too hot, too cold. Now it's too hot again, too wet, too cold. Too reflective. Not enough toys. Too many toys. That is still too hot. Well, I guess this is okay. Splash. Hey, this is fun. Wash, 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 washy. I love bubbles. Look at my wrinkly toes. La la la, singing in the tub. This is the life. Hello? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. Ten hours later. Can I stay in the tub forever? Okay guys, that's it. Have a great day.